so this project, during this project, uh, we have worked with a French biscuit manufacturer who wants a very specific wheat quality uh, for making his biscuits. And so for each new crop, uh, they will test all biscuit wheat available in France. That means that in a very short period of time, they must test hundreds of samples on the biscuit pilot line, which, which consists in their reference. Additional constraint is that they run clean label. So they cannot correct with additives. So they mainly rely on wheat performance uh, to have a good final product. Based on their observation of the uh, results uh, obtained with the biscuit pilot line, they are able to rank their lots to classify the wheat lots in three types. So there is a good one, which uh, is able to give a compliant final product and no problem during the line. Then you have the bad products for one or the other reason, but they are rejected. Uh, and then you have the potentially okay. Well, we know that, okay, that, that could be acceptable with some process adjustments. So you can see that there is a need here for something a little bit more efficient in order to avoid this big lot of work every year. And so this is why we have worked with them with the Mixer Lab. And so we worked uh, with them and analyzed every wheat according to its final potential. Uh, so is it good? Is it bad? Is it acceptable? And this is what we have obtained here. Thanks to those curves, we have selected two parameters, the gelatinization intensity and the hydration that were particularly discriminant. And we were able to do that. Three classes, good, acceptable, and bad. And doing that, what does that mean? Well, that means that basically, if you have a result like that, you will not bother to make biscuit tests this one will be rejected. On the other hand, if you have a product like that, you know that this product will be good. It will be accepted. So you don't do the biscuit test either. For those one, yes, yes, okay. This one, you can cheat the baking test because they might be acceptable. They might be rejected. Here, there is always an uncertainty area. Uh, and at least you know what type of um, improvements you need to make to the biscuit line. That means that the R&D team can dedicate their precious time and the pilot line to work on samples that really deserve their attention, not on all samples, just on those samples that, well, yeah, we have it out. And by doing that, they have reduced by 50% the time spent during baking trials. So this is a lot. And that also allows us to see something that, that is very important. Here, we do not say that the mixed lab can replace baking tests. Laboratory equipment and baking trials, they are two sides of the same coin. They work in synergy and not against each other. 